Did you guys know that 13 times 17 is 221? And did you guys know that 13 times 17, 22 times 28, 44 times 46, 33 times 37, and 94 nine times 96 are all special numbers? Do you know why? They, they're special because um, the sum of the digits um, in the units place, so these ones that the units place, um, would be 10. So if you add 3 and 7, it will be 10. And also the 10 stu- ten stitches must be the same. Whereas it's, as you can see, it's 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 4 and 4, 3 and 3, you know. And just like um, 3 and 7, 2 and 8 add up to 10, 4 and 6 add up to 10, and so do 3 and 7. These all add up to 10. That's why they are special. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to actually work this question out. Let's start with 13 times 17. Okay, the 13 times 17, um, we're first going to multiply three times um, the units, basically. First, we're going to multiply the units. Um, if we multiply the units, we're going to get um, three times seven, which is 21. And, and we're going to um, times uh this number right here by its next highest number which is two in this case so we're going to do one times two so we get two okay let's go on to number two now 22 times 28 okay all right first we're going to do a times two we'll fir- or we're going to multiply the units place first which is going to be 16. And then now we're going to multiply the tens digit by its next highest number, which is obviously three in this case. So we're going to do two times three, which is going to be six. So the answer is going to be 616. By the way, guys, if you find this useful, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go and subscribe now. Okay, let's go on to the next question. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the next question. We're going to times the units, four and six. If you times four and six, you're going to get 24. Okay, now we're going to times the tenths uh, place, which is four in this case, by its next highest number, which is five. So we're going to do four times five, which is going to be 20. So we're going to get an answer off. 2024. Okay, let's go on to 33 times 37 now. Okay, with 33 times 37, we're going to do the same again. 3 times 7, which is 21. We're going to write that 21 now. Now we're going to times um, 3 by its next highest number, which is 4 in this case. So we're going to do 3 times 4 is going to be 12 so the answer is going to be 1221 okay now we're on to um 94 times 96 okay okay so we're going to do 4 times 6 which is going to be 24 and then we're going to times 9 by its next highest number which is 10, so we're going to do 9 times 10, which is 90. So the answer is going to be 9024. By the way, guys, um, as you would have noticed here, I've got some questions for you guys to try. Um, so if you guys do find the answer, um, go and write the answer in the description below in the comment section. Okay, guys, um, now we're going to look at another method that is universal. You can use this method to times any um, two-digit numbers. They don't have to be special or anything. They can be ordinary ones. So let's get started with 12 times 23. Okay. We're going to do 12 times 23 now. Um, So we're going to do it in a different method. So we're going to lay it out like this. So we're going to write the 12 here, and then we're going to write the 23 like this so first what we're going to do is we're first going to times 
the 2 and the 3 and then the 1 and the 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, so we're going to write the 6 here, and then 1 times 2 is 2. And we're going to leave a gap right here. Okay, now we're going to times them um, um, diagonally, so we're going to do 3 times 1, and we're going to do 2 times 2. And we're going to add these two uh, products together. Okay, so 3 times 1 is 3, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 plus 4 is 7. So we're going to put that 7 down in the middle, and the answer is 276. Okay, now let's go on to um, 33 times 11. Okay. We're going to lay this question out the same way as we did for 12 times 23. We're going to write the 33 at the top. We're going to write the 11 here. And then, yeah. Now we're going to um, times them vertically, the 3 and the 1. Um, again, the 3 and the 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. And again, 3 times 1 is 3. Obviously, leaving a gap in the middle. Okay, now we're going to times them diagonally we're going to do 1 times 3 and 1 times 3 and we're going to add these products so we're going to do 1 times 3 is 3 and well again 1 times 3 is also 3 so 3 plus 3 is 6 so we're going to put the 6 in the middle and the answer is 363 okay now let's go on to a bit more harder question not too much let's go on to 48 times 78. Okay, we're go again, we're going to lay the question out the same way. So write the 48 at the top and then write the 78 at the bottom. Okay, now um, we're going to again times them vertically first. So um, if you see in this question, 8 times 8 is 64. So we're going to be left with the um, remainder, so we're just going to write it at the top. Now we're going to do a 4 times 7, which is 28. Okay, now we're going to do them diagonally. So we're going to do um, uh, 8 times 4 and 7 times 8. 8 times 4 is 32, 7 times 8 is 56. So add them together, you will get um, an answer of 88. 88, okay. Now we're going to add the 8 over here from the 88 and carry the other 8 over to the other side. Now we're going to add these together, which will lead us with an answer of, um, so nothing plus 4 is 4, 8 plus 6 is 14, um, 8 plus 8 and then plus another 1 is 17 and then we're going to carry the 1 over to the other side 2 plus 1 is 3 so the answer is 3744 okay guys let me explain this one more time so basically what we did was first we times um, 9 times 7 vertically and 9 times 8 vertically, so we wrote 9 times 7 was 63, so we wrote, wrote the 3 down and took the 6 as a remainder to the other side, and we did 9 times 8 as 72, so we wrote the 72 down. Okay, now we uh, multiply them um, diagonally, so we did 9 times 8, and we did 9 times 8, and we did... 9 times 7. Okay, so 9 times 7 was 63. Um, and 9 times 8 was 72. We added these together to get um, an answer of 135. So we wrote the 5 down here. Since we have um, 2 digit remainder, so we, wrote, we put one of the remainder above the 2, which was the 3. 
and we put the 1 above the 7. Now we um, added these together, so we added 3 plus nothing, which is 3. Um, 6 plus 5, which is 11, took the other 1 to the remainder to the other side. Um, 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6, and 1 plus 7 is 8. Okay, guys, um, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. But anyway, before we end this video, I've got some questions for you guys to try. Um, if you guys do find the answer out, um, comment it down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.